Hello everyone! I'm here today at uh, Tranquil River outside Kamloops. I've got a claim up here that uh, is about to expire, so I had to put some work on it. Uh, keep the government happy, you know. You have to put a, bit, a certain amount of work on each year in order to keep a claim. So today I'm up here, going to do a little bit of work. Going to do a bit of panning, checking out some bedrock, some sniping. And I even brought the metal detector to see if I could uh, find anything exciting. Now my claim uh, is just upstream from here. I'm going to walk in a little ways before I do any work. Walk up that way. I was here earlier this summer and uh, got some promising results. I found a few nice big flakes, a bunch of little stuff, and one little nugget. So definitely uh, intriguing. Coming back today to see if I can uh, find some more. Brought some better tools today too. I only had a pan and shovel last time. So metal detector, whatnot today, and see if I can find something nicer. Well, I'm gonna load up and start hiking up river, and as I go, I'll show you some of the scenery. It is a beautiful little spot. So just making my way up to where I wanna to work today. This is the first really intriguing spot. This chunk of bedrock here that protrudes out. But down in the water, you have all these little pockets. Any one of those little pockets could be just holding a bundle. And obviously, since there's lots there, I assume they go right underneath this gravel bar, the same kind of bedrock right across. You can see bedrock is right there. So obviously, we're not going to go down very deep. This little gravel bar here, over near that edge maybe. Oh, yeah. Great spot to check, although that's not where I want to check today. We've got the metal detector out and I'm uh, checking all the little bedrock outcrops as we go up, but uh, I'm not even stopping at anything. I found a few little signals. I'm not going to stop until I get to where I want to work today. But the first, just beautiful little, beautiful little spot. Okay, I'm at the spot where uh, I found the gold last time. I didn't really do too much area. I kind of focused on one spot last time. And I was just digging down into this bedrock here, breaking up a few of the little chunks in this hollow. I'm not sure where I found, I found the gold nugget right up there, up in there somewhere. So I'm gonna play around with that a bit more today. Um, and then see with the metal detector if I can find some more hot spots around. There's lots of neat looking stuff here along this bedrock edge. But really, this is one little tiny spot in a huge claim that could have stuff everywhere. Let's see what I can find. I've been going at this for a while now, and uh, I'm not finding great gold. I am finding gold, and it's actually, like, I'm getting two or three flakes in every pan, for sure. I've just been uh, working right here right now. Uh, I tried clearing out a little pothole, but there was nothing in it. And just going into all the cracks of the rocks. I'm finding stuff when I dig down into the cracks. Get stuff every time I dig into the cracks. Uh, but I'm wanting a bit better, better than that. So I'm going to go and try some of the bedrock just up there. And maybe even up over there, see if we can find some more. I'd love to find more cracks like that that were looser, lots more material, more chance of gold being in them. Tried some of this stuff under here, um, but no, there was nothing in it. Okay, moving on, moving on. So before I moved upstream, I remembered there was a crack I hadn't cleaned out that I wanted to do. Pulled a little rock out of there and it had a bunch of sand in it. So I just pulled it out, I've washed it all down into the bottom, and I'll just suck it out of there. But uh, this, uh, this is the one thing I love probably most about sniping, is seeing gold on bedrock. Right down in there, little piece of gold. Now I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up, especially with the glare of the water. Just see if I can get a picture of it, and then I'll suck it up with my stuffer bottle. So we get a picture. Well, I'm glad I went back and checked out that crack. Because here's my first good pan of the day. Well, 
let's get a good focus. There's the first good pan of the day. Three nice little pickers. Big flakes, they're not pickers yet. And, oh, there's there's a dozen little guys in there as well. Oh, look at that, never mind. Oh, look at this over here, hidden. Look what was hidden. Another little, little flake, big flake. Bunch of, oh, that was a nice pan. The sun, sort of an overcast day here today and it's hard to get the video of, the, of this stuff. Oh, look at that. Big flake. Big flake, 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 flake. Lots of little flakes. Big flake, big flake. Well, I think I'm going to have to rethink moving here. I'm going to have to go try that again around there. So I've walked up the plane. I'm just about to cross over onto the private lands. I'm not going to cross over. If I went any farther, it'd be up onto the private lands. And I want to respect the, the landowner. I know I have rights too, but I still want to respect them. I've been panning along the way and finding a little flake here, a little flake there. Nothing spectacular like I found down below, but beautiful area. And just unbelievably good looking spots all over the place. The sun is getting low on the horizon. We had quite a rainstorm come through here for an hour or so. I haven't been filming for a while. But uh, yeah, the, the rain just poured for about an hour. I'm kind of soaked through, but oh well. When I get back to the bottom, I'll throw everything in the pan and take a good shot of uh, everything I found for the day. Might still do a few more pans down around that one spot where I found the really good gold. Back to hiking. There's this one area right here, big, big cobbles and a whole bunch of them. There is a little creek that comes in right there. Maybe it rushes hard enough to wash some cobbles out of the hillside. And they're all just deposited right here. Might be a really neat area to go dig down through those cobbles over there and see what's sitting down below them because obviously everything here is sitting on bedrock. Might catch the gold nicely having all those big uh, rocks to create turbulence and dead spots and have the gold fall through. Well, I came down the hill uh, to take a picture of the gold because I want some sunshine and uh, I was up kind of behind a mountain so there was no sun up there. Uh, I want to take a... This always makes it so much nicer if you have sun on your gold. Now, I'm not going to even look at the video here. I'm going to get it all in one spot and take a nice picture. And that way you can zoom in and make it look really nice. But pretty nice gold up there for the day. Here's a picture. Yeah, so some not too bad gold for the days worth of panning up there. It was, I, was, I was pleased. It was nice. Especially those bigger chunks. Well guys, that was the uh, Trank Keel claim outside of Kamloops. Fun little day. Nice fall day. Did hit one good rainstorm, but oh well. That's life. I'm not sure what I'm doing next, but uh, I'm sure you guys will see it. Until then.